John, Kevin, Kinetic, kinetic Motions. motions. Alright guys, so today we're going to go into the principle of Wing Chun and how Wing Chun can apply into a real street self defense. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the principle of the center line. Traditional Wing Chun enters on the center line where the hand goes on the center and you'll just punch right through the center every single time. But is that always the case? Not necessarily. Sometimes we'll enter the center line, but sometimes we'll enter off the quarter line so that becomes a new center line. Because like if I have my opponent here, if John is dominating on the center line, that means I can't really go back into a center because I don't have all the space I need. So in this case, I might have to enter off the quarter line so that way I can re-enter and take over the center line. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be the battle punch. Some people call this Lin Wan Choi, some, by, some people call this Ji Chan Choi. So there's different terminology depending where lineage you're from. But the basic principle is, if my hand is in center, I'm gonna travel through the center line and punch. And you will notice the hand does not retract all the way back. It only retract close to the elbow like this. And that's the motions continuation like that, okay? But avoid doing this. Because you will see a lot of people do it, it's all punch side by side like this or they'll go up and down like that. And this will create a lot of tension into your shoulder. So what you need to do is just drive your elbow forward and relax your hand. So if John is here, what I need to do is just aim. He can put a hand like this, and so that I can just aim at his hand like that, straight, straight, see? That's a good way to practice, but don't do this, okay? Don't let your elbow flare, because you too much your shoulder and the elbow. Elbows down, you just pack, 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 pack like that. So how does that enter into a self defense situation? For instance, right, you should never ever enter in with a battle punch or Chi Chan Choi. If I would just enter into John and I saw doing this, he should probably punch me or he should probably kick me because I gave him too much of, you know, of a room to, uh, to counter. So the first thing you gotta remember is I only use that as a finisher, not as a starting, starting technique. So here's the first thing I'm gonna talk about. If John were to jab, right, with a straight punch, I cannot stay on the center. And most of the time, we'll split to the outside like that. If we just change angle a little bit so you can see what's going on. If, I, if it hits me, I need to move this way. You'll notice that this thing can either carve around this side, or I can hit him straight on the line. Or I can hit him in soul plexus, or straight into the groin. But for now, let's say I'm gonna check this hand. Watch how this hand traps the hand and then builds his eyes, and then can punch. If he does a jab and cross, if I don't have time to respond, I need to make sure I move out like that. Notice how this thing can go high, trap and go like this. I know a lot of times you guys will ask, what if he does a hook at this point? Because the left hand is free. If he does a hook, I need to be able to carve it out like that. Notice my hand carves like this. I don't like to carve it like this because it can technically still go through. Or it can pull my wrist down and follow through with a punch. See? That's very dangerous. So what I need to do is jam into a space like that so my elbow is covered. This way, I can elbow this way, elbow this way. You notice I jam his hand like that. See? Grab his head. This hand is going to whizz it right through. If you have a jacket, you can actually grab your jacket. This will secure the position for the knee, then elbow and battle punch, like that. So one more time. He comes with a jab, cross, hook right there. So my hand goes like that. Me personally, I like to jam on the neck. Just in case he wants to punch with the other hand, it makes it very difficult. Then this hand goes over the shoulder, grabs your gi like this. Sorry, not gi. It grabs your shirt like this. <laughs> if I'm here, then you can elbow like that, elbow like this, and you can follow through with the knee. If you fall through the knee first, you can push him off. Push him off at 7 o'clock. Then you punch one and battle punch. Okay? So different angle. Same technique. We'll go one, two, three. Watch his hand goes over here. Now from here, you can knee him, knee him, break him down. Push him through. Remember, push him as slow as you can. So that when I punch, I can finish up with whatever I have left. So remember, always angle out so I have more room to play. But don't go one, two, three with my hand goes like that. See, now I'm in danger. Always enter on a line. So one more time, John comes in, one, two, three, like that. See my hand, cover it, cover the line. Then whistle right through. Then you can knee, punch, punch an elbow. So that's a self-defense 101 from a jab cross hook entry. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video that we just posted. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below at Kinetic Motions. Thank you guys.